Okay, YouTube, so this is my foam battery RC cars I've been building. This uses a foam battery charger from my battery pack. This one uses the foam battery itself. This is 1,000 milliamps, and I think that one is just over 1,200 milliamps or something like that. So, this is just going to be a quick little drag release for the first test. Second test will be actually showing what they are, I guess. These are both my new bright. This one is my wheelie RC car. That one is my race RC car. So I'm going to show you what each of them do before I do the drag race. Alright. So with this one, it pulls wheelies very easily. Like, crap. Alright, I'm going to the carpet and do it first. But, I put the batter on the back for extra weight. As you can see, it doesn't really have to turn left very well. But, right is fine. And now my phone's not working right, yay. But, and this RC car over here, is my race RC car I've been making. It's not fully charged. It's like charged to 3.5 volts, I think. It will charge to like 4 volts, but you get the point. It's just a lot faster. Well, acceleration wise, at least. Now, I made the car a lot lighter than the truck using a different kind of light on battery for my cell phone. And the truck uses a bigger battery that probably has more milliamp hours. So it's gonna be kind of. I don't know what's gonna happen actually. So you can see what I'm talking about without batteries, not fully charged. But yeah, I think that's probably why the truck pulled away first, the faster. Also, it could be that the truck has bigger tires in the back, so the gear ratio is gonna be different. But this RC car is a lot lighter. Also, I'm pulling some power using the headlights on the front I made for it, but it looks so much cooler with those. Originally, I had the battery for this truck up inside, right there, so you couldn't see it. But it wasn't pulling wheelies very big without adding extra weight to the bed. So, it was just much easier to do it in the back. But, I'm just going to move back and forth so you can see the torque difference between the See the car is a lot lighter, so a lot quicker, I guess you say. But it, they work exactly kind of how I designed them, except I thought this one would have better top speed on it. Now, next obstacle is handling, which one can go around and come back and go back or forward and then back like that. I don't like which can do it faster and better. We start the timer, see if it hits seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Crap. Well, I guess I didn't turn that one off. I'm gonna go from the same frequency, so. Yeah. Alright, I'm not gonna do time. I'm just gonna do so you can visually see which one handles better, I guess. Turns right very well. Left. No, it doesn't turn left. Crap. One hand. Come on. So, it only turns right sharp, I don't know why, probably because it's torque, but it's kind of annoying. You see the amount of turning it has. It's going left, and this is going right. This one I have higher hopes for, so I hope this one does a little better, because I, I just built this one, I built that one yesterday. Yeah, it turns better either way. Better. Not a problem. Now on top of that, I also removed the resistor on this one, but on this one, for some reason, I think it's already integrated, integrated in the circuit board, so I couldn't remove it, but that actually helps quite a bit on torque. For sure, on this one, it's giving it a little more power, but also translating to more battery usage. So, on this one, the front and the back wheels take both the same power. The front wheels take just as much power to turn, the back wheels do to go. On this one, 
that gives a lot more power in the front because I removed the resistor. Just to show you I'm not trying to uh, scam you guys on this, this is a battery charge I made. You can charge normally, then you can charge a boost. So I'm going to go down here and unplug it. Get down on this extension cord. And that, what I'll do is it puts it in the battery testing mode. So you can plug a battery in and it'll tell you exactly what the current is at on it. So I'll grab the cord here. I'm trying this in one shot so you guys don't think I'm scamming you on this. I'll do the car first. It's at 3.69 volts. 3.7, whatever. And this one is at. Eight. That 0.1 volts actually makes a big difference. 0.2 volts on this one, 0.1 on this one makes a big difference in power actually. Let me show you how fast charging works. You can just click, grab it plugged in, and plug it back in. So you're at 3.8 volts, charging at normal speed. Click this, light goes solid, and it's charging at 5 volts. Kaboom. Now this one will probably be more useful on because smaller batteries can drain faster than this one. This one I couldn't get the charge all the way on this thing. I gotta probably put like a, a diode on it or something to keep the current from going to this where I don't want it. Yeah, as you can see, this one is down to it's right at 3.72 volts. And I just plugged it in. And it's charging at 17 amps. That is crazy. I don't even know how these little dollar store cables can handle that, but you are saying up here it's drawing 17 amp, 16.4 amps now, and I'm already at 3.75 volts. I'm gonna do a burnout test, so this will show you how many amps or how much power this thing actually draws. See the voltage drops way down when I give it juice. If I block it off completely, it drops way down. That's partially to do because the battery on this one is smaller than this one, but. It works just fine. I did the same method on my drone. I stuck a phone battery on this one for flying, and it works just fine. As you can see, when I turn it on, everything flashes, everything works. These are two different batteries I use in these RC cars. This one is from a phone charger, so it's probably meant to have higher amps. And this one's from a phone itself. Um. Also, there's a protective circuit in here you want to remove if you're doing on RC car. It gives more amps and power, I think. Also, it doesn't have the little heat thing on it, unfortunately, but it's a little right there. Text if anything overheats. I am not liable for any of the stupid crap you do, so don't blame me if you blow up your RC car. Offer Mayhem, signing out.